Coppa Agostini was today. Hilly race. Um, this is the final climb up the Giro de, uh, up the Colle della Brezane, Brianze, and here we have Formolo attacking alongside Domenico Pozzovivo, Mas, Piccolo, uh, Giamartan, Nibali, all going across. Thirty four k to go. This is the last climb. Then it's flat. So basically, make it over in the front group here, and you've got a good chance of winning. Nibali's behind, same with Ballots, and that's basically the main split. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't really show the main split too well, but you can see Fordamolo is going super, super hard here. Um, it's not like a, the top of the climb is very up and down, um, which, you know, you think would help a group, a bigger group come together. You can see mass bridges across, looking behind, making sure no one's come with him, and it's easy. I think he might almost be waiting up for Bala. Guillaume Martin's just getting across now, and um, alongside uh, Rigoberto. I think that's Rigoberto around. It could be Piccolo. Um, anyway, these are the guys getting dropped behind. Um, anyway, we're now going to go forward to like 33k to go, um, which is here. So anyway, Pots of is off the front, which is all pretty chill, to be honest, uh, with uh, Formula. Anyway, these two off the front, basically, you know, they're going to get caught. Uh, the descent is not technical enough. We skip ahead to 28k when the regrouping finally occurs and we get to actually see who's in there. So you can see Enric Mas, you can see Guillaume Martin. Uh, Nibali is about to come into shot as well. He gets across. And once that selection is done, there is a group behind, but that's basically it. Um, the, you can see there's 22 seconds behind um, to the next group. Uh, Kobe Gerson's attacks out of that um, alongside Stefano Aldani and Simon Yates, but they just have no chance of coming back because there's enough teams in this group that really they want to work together well. Um, especially now you can see Nibali's come across, but it's more Enric Mass as well as the two EF guys really want to just work and i think you know maybe the relegation system also had something to do with that because ef want two in the top 10 so they want to work it makes sense um you can see here are the guys finally getting back on um basically and then here is the cameras anyway we're going towards the end of the race basically not much really happens got 27k to go but it's like false flat downhill so i didn't really see any point of showing any more content which we'll skip to the final kilometer um this is the group behind you can see kobe gerson's attacking and all the rest of it but the thing is because there's teammates in the group behind they're just going to mark them but gerson's to be fair he does actually get away which is a decent shift from him and you can see the guys at the front you know it's it's decently strung out but anyway the man we need to talk about is this deconic bloke who you would probably never heard of called Bax. now we're going to go through his Pro cycling stats because it's pretty pretty rogue, but I'll leave judgment till later. Anyway, this is the last kilometer. Mass is on the front, followed by Potsabi of a Formula, Bala, and then the two EF guys, Guillaume Martin and Bax, are, fi are fighting for the EF lead out, which they think is going to happen. Nibla, I think, has resigned himself that he's not going to do well in the sprint. There wasn't really much attacking. There was like Formula did one attack, and it was a bit lame in the final kilometer. I expected more. You can see Mass is just looking around. Basically, he just needs to go hard enough that no one's going to attack. And you can see here, Mass is on the front, still drilling it, but like, you know, we're getting towards like 300 meters to go or so. And Guillaume Martin goes, and Bala goes so early, like so early. And I don't understand. That's like three over 300 meters to go. The barrier is when it gets to 250. He's now at 200 and Bax is on, on his wheel. Bax comes out the draft at like 150 meters to go, which is still like, you know, a decent amount. And then just torches him. And it, it's sad to see because I reckon old Bala wins this, no doubt. And it's sad when he has to go back in his draft. But you can see... From the helicopter shot, which we're about to watch, how big the gap is between Bala. So Bala goes here and he gaps everyone. He just went too early. Like the EF guy is trying to chase onto his wheel, but Bax comes out of absolutely nowhere and just destroys Bala. And in the end, it's not even close. The, the speed differential is huge. And I think he just went too early. I, I, don't, I don't think he had to. Guillaume Martin was going around, but he wasn't going to get boxed. I, I like here, you know, it just makes no sense. Um, anyway. It is what it is. Bala didn't win. Um, I'm just going to go over to Bax's pro second stats now um, and add some more thoughts on who he is. Right, so this bloke called Stuart Bax is one. Now, to be honest, he is actually quite good. He won the Alpes Air Tour, which is a pretty high level 2.2. But this season, I mean, not going to lie, he's sort of come from nothing. He rode for Rabobank and then he rode for Metec uh, team, who I think I like. Well, they, I, they might be a Serbian content. I'm not sure. Anyway, this year, though, DNF Saudi D, can't get around Swiss. Might have been a COVID. Can't get around Poland. Suddenly, not, top 10 Norway. Fourth in Luxembourg. Decent results in some Camises. 76 in Paris Shawnee. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't count as flat. And wins that. Anyway, his uh, it's, uh, it's odd results. You can see here, I guess he is going up and up. But 
You know, it's for sure. It's a, it's a rogue one. I, I don't really sure where he's come from. Okay, fine. Circuit Darden International is a decent result as well. 2.2. Tour of Mirabeau. I mean, he's definitely got talent for sure. But this year, I, was, I really was not expecting someone like him to do so well. I guess maybe, you know, we just overlooked him. Like, he does actually have some pretty decent results. If you look at all his, all his stuff. As you know, decent results in 2.2s, etc, etc. But, you know, Croatia Tour, he finished ninth on GC. Like, you know, he beat... I guess he didn't really beat many people, did he? Um, you know, Yates won that, but like who he's be who he's beaten, who's decent, you know, there's not many people. But um anyway, it is what it is. Managed to get the win. And uh cheers for watching. See you in the next one.